got nothing. I got you. I got nothing. Da, 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 da. Forgot the words. <laughs> Cause I got it with you. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know much about algebra, but I know one plus one equals two. And it's me and you. That's all we'll have in the world is through. Cause baby, we ain't got nothing but love. Darling, you got enough for the both of us. So come on, baby, make love to me. Yes. I ain't for the um, go all in, child. I love that song. That's probably one of my favorite Beyonce songs of all time. Um, one, one plus one. Yeah. One plus one, one on one, one on. <laughs> child, it's a one. Okay. Um, also, four is probably... My favorite Beyonce album. Let me think. It's four of my favorite Beyonce album. Outside of Dangerously in Love and this Renaissance. Yeah, four is definitely my favorite for sure. Anyway, I was singing um, a little bit of One Plus One by Beyonce because um, uh, May Day, he went to... Um, one of his friends and, um, you know, fellow colleagues in the industry. Um, I think he said her name is Coley Gilchrist. Um, she did like a Beyonce tribute in uh, May Day. He plays the horns. And um, so, you know, she needed him. She had a live band there and all that good stuff. Excuse the ash, child. I always forget to lotion up before I get on camera, child. Um, this is On the Way Up Atlanta. Yes, and see. Okay, so beginning where we left off last week. No, we didn't leave off last week, actually. Um, this is a brand new episode. How about that? Um, <laughs> we, the first person we see is Kamori. Um, Kamori, he is um, looking for venues because um, he is um, doing this BU Festival, which is a music festival, and... Um, He's looking for venues and vendors, uh, food vendors and stuff. Um, he's doing Pride Month, so he's going to be, you know, hosting it and having a little moment. Um, I really like Kamori. I do. Um, you know, I, I think at his at his core, he's cool and, and he's a um, go-getter. And he just seems very um, down to earth. Um, so he's talking to this guy. He ends up using, um, his building to, um, host the event. And then he sees this, um, food truck vendors outside and, um, they're from New Orleans. And so they're going to be, you know, preparing the food, uh, for the event. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good time. Okay. Um, so like I said, we saw May Day at, um, Miss Coley's, um, event when he was playing the horn. Um, let me see. We also saw Mayday a little later on at his friend Tramel. Um, he had an album release party. Um, and um, he produced Mayday. He's a producer as well. He produced um, two of his songs on the album. So he showed his support there. This episode was, it was Mayday in almost every single scene. All right, Mayday. All right. Mm. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I really am. Because, you know, in the past, I had made some uh, a video. I forgot which one. I was just like, where is Mayday? What's going on? You know, I was just like, he don't be showing up to film with everybody. What's happening? Child made it a kid. That it's a full gear, child. I, I ain't mad at you. Hey. Okay. So, um, and we, but we still don't see Trey. We don't know what Trey is. But Trey going to show up to argue. Trey going to show up for the, for, for the best. But we don't, we don't know what Trey is. Mm. So anyway, um, the next thing we see is Brandon, DJ, Mayday, and uh, Mayday's lovely boyfriend, 
It seems so sweet and cool. Um, and um, they're talking and stuff about a bunch of different stuff. Uh, Brandon, he mentions to Mayday that he needs help with, you know, um, his music, possibly looking for producers, uh, songwriters, etc. Mayday was just like, you know, pretty much if you if you reach out to me, then, you know, um, we can kind of make some things happen. Um, you know, I'm, I'm assuming uh, a lot of things are expensive. And um, Mayday mentioned to Brandon, he was like, well, you know, just because somebody may be charging a high price doesn't mean that they're good. And that can be applied to any part of life. Lord knows, because, I mean, we, we see all kinds of stuff. You go to this high dollar, high price restaurant and you eat the highest thing on the menu and you get it. And you're like, well, that's it. I mean, it's pretty how y'all got it decorated on the plate. It's pretty. But I mean, girl, oh, this is um, what is what was I going to say, y'all? <sighs> What is it called? Creme brulee? Oh, yes. This is creme brulee. Girl, egg custard. <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah. So, they talked about that. Let me see. DJ, he wants to have flat football um, <laughs> with these queens. I would live. I, I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I much rather play flag football than actual football. They thought it's just because I was a big boy. You know, I've been big my entire life. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting slender as as the days go by. Not really. I'm trying, but as the days go by, you know, I'm getting more slender. You know, waste a little water on my shirt. But yeah. Um. So, uh, you know, they thought because I was, you know, big. And, you know, that I could beat everybody else up on the football field. They thought that they was going to put me in the football field when I was younger. But I had to tell them, now, wait a minute. Regardless of my size or regardless of how good I am, I want to throw that baton. And I'm going to throw that damn baton, you know. So I, they hated it, hated it. I said, well, um, so, yeah. It is, and then he um also, DJ, he also wants to have a mixer. And, um... I think somebody, I think it may have been Mayday or Brandon, who mentioned that you need to have the the foot the football thing first and then the mixer afterwards. And I was like, yeah, I agree. And then you know nobody wants to be running around with alcohol in their stomach, throwing up everywhere and, and stuff. You know, I don't know. Maybe it was gonna have food and food and flat football and alcohol and heat. Um, uh, mm -mm. no. So it's, it is good to have everything separately. But it does look like it's going to be fun for sure. Uh, let me see. Let me see. A little later on, uh, Mayday and DJ, they had a studio session with um, Devontae. Devontae got up in there. Now, this his song. Devontae got up in there and, you know, uh, was practicing his lyrics, you know. Couldn't get it right. I guess he was nervous or whatever. Or maybe he just didn't have time to fully, you know, practice his verse. Because um, he does do a lot. Um, so, you know, I don't know, but I think eventually they got it together and the song sounds like it's going to be beautiful when it's done. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. So Phil, so this episode was titled, um, where is Phil, right? Um, Brandon had mentioned when she, when he was with DJ and all them, that um, he hasn't heard from Phil in a while. That he had um, reached out to him. But he hasn't heard nothing from him. So um, I was just like, what's going on? So Phil called Brandon and Mayday there to um, chat a little bit about where he's been. Um, you know, I didn't know that Mayday and Brandon was was close. Like Mayday and Phil was like close like that. Um, but, you know, he felt impelled to to tell um mayday and he considered him a good friend so hey you know um I'm, I'm here for it um let me see so you know they talked and that's when we he had mentioned it phil that he had gotten into a really bad car accident um i'm not sure when they wrapped filming on the show so i'm assuming it was last year maybe when this happened and um he said he never went to therapy he never you know, uh, I guess followed up with any doctor's appointments, etc. But within the two weeks of him getting into that car accident, 
afterwards, I guess when he was trying to recover, he ended up having a stroke. And so that's a part of the reason why he has been MIA because his body has not, you know, um, been up to it like it, you know, usually, you know, with anybody who would have, you know, um, a, a car accident, first of all, and then a stroke on top of that, that is a lot to, um, handle. And, um, he was just, you know, he's trying to figure out what to do, but he just decided to go home. That is best probably health wise and then mentally and emotionally for him to be around his family, which I fully agree. Uh, Mayday brought up something very important. He was just like, yeah, Atlanta's not really that city for, you know, Atlanta is, is, you know, you go there to work and you go there to party and you go there to party hard. It's not really a city, um, for certain things like, um, what, what's the words that I'm looking for? Uh, y'all help me out. Mm. I'm pulling thoughts in. Um, it's not really the city for like support groups and, and, um, Places to get like for real, real issue, issue. A lot of Atlanta is stunts and shows and, and parties and, and events and da, 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 da. you know, it's a lot of hustle and bustle. It's not really a lot. Of, it's not a recovery kind of empathy, loving on you kind of city, if that makes sense. Um, that probably sounds real bad, but I mean, I can't. I put my thoughts in and that's all I got, y'all. But I think y'all know what I mean. Um, but, you know, and, and naturally anybody who would go through something like that would want to be around their family anyway. I know I definitely would. Um, and and so, you know, um, I feel we love you, child. And, and we are praying for you. And, and the most important thing is your recovery and just for you to just not think about nothing at all. Not the show, not anything, not jobs, not anything else that you have going on. All that's going to be here when you get back. You need to just heal and chill out because we adore you, Phil, and we want you here. Okay. Um, let me see. What the hell is. Oh, God. I'm in the hood, you guys. Um, so anyway, uh, let me see. We also saw, um, uh, Phil's mom who we love and, um, they was on Phil's radio show and she was giving out her amazing wisdom that she always gives when we see her. And, um, you know, what a great mom Phil has. Um, she really is, um, very special. Um, and so... Uh, like I say, we love you, Phil, and we're praying for you. Um, after that, let me see. I think the last thing we saw was um, actually Trey. I think Trey was, um, he was doing a photo shoot for his birthday. He looks really good. Is that it? I think that's it, y'all. So they're doing an episode every other Thursday. So I think this episode dropped last week. So I don't think we're going to get a new episode this week. I think we'll get one next week. But um, yeah, where we at? Girl, we on the way up. But that's it. I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google+. Plus. Follow me at Eskizwar on Instagram and Twitter. At Eskizwar89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black. Stay tuned. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>